What is up my beautiful marmars and welcome to my kitchen and today's video is gonna be a little bit different weird I don't know so you might have seen these on YouTube before um, But I was actually in little Tokyo recently with Roy my friends and I saw this kit and I was like what? Mini burgers and mini fries. I got to do this as a DIY. So today is a DIY Japanese Candy, I think this is candy. I hope this is candy. I don't know, but we're gonna taste test this We're gonna DIY. We're gonna do everything. I make a video every single day I thank you guys so much for subscribing. I've gained so many of you beautiful people subscribing recently to me It's like insane amount of people that I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't even know what I'm Marlon Nice to meet you. I make DIYs. I prank my cousin. I play video games and I just have fun here I post a video every single day at 12 p.m. In this DIY, since this is burger themed, I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you guys, okay? I get sometimes, you know, like a hundred thousand views on my on my on my videos, right? So I'm gonna say if you guys can get this video to fifty thousand likes, that's half of the views, just 50,000. If half of you guys hit the like button, you guys get to 50,000, I will make a giant burger. A giant burger with a secret surprise on the inside. Okay, it's not that, it's not gonna be that big of a secret, but it's gonna be an awesome surprise on the inside. So yeah, get this video a big thumbs up and maybe you'll see a giant burger coming your way soon. Let's jump right into this DIY, woo! All right guys, so here is the box of miniature things. I hope it's candy. I don't really know what the box says. Um, but let's yeah, let's break into it. Here are the instructions on the back. It's pretty cool. If you go to your local Japanese store, you will find something that looks like this. But I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Oh, so it comes in a little container like this. Cool. Get out. Oh, there we go. So we get all these packets that come with it. Really? Just packets? No, nothing else? I've done something like this before, but like this is very like there's it looks like bread and stuff. What? Okay. Step one is, uh, what is that? What does that even say? Uh, and just guess, I guess. And open the orange packet. What looks like it's telling me to do here. Take the orange packet and I'm dropping it in there. It says, is there not an English version? Is there not an English packet? Oh crap, I think I skipped this step actually. I think I'm supposed to cut these apart. Um, oops. Alright, cool. And I think this is like the measuring cup. Alright. All right. So I got one thingy of water. Putting it in there. Ooh. I could be ruining this whole thing because I used the wrong package or I don't know what's going on right now. I should have thought about that before, uh, doing this part. All right guys, have no fear. I just realized that this is actually the uh, bun, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pack it in there. I'm supposed to be good at this kind of stuff. I'm gonna have to steal some from that side and this side. Yeah, okay, I'm... Guys, my bun is gonna come out very skinny. I'm gonna have to share the buns between each of these. Maybe we need a little bit more water? Guys, I might have to redo this. I don't have another pack of it though. I am struggling, like look at that. It's so ugly. I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but yeah, those are my buns for now. Let's start on the patty, I think is this one. I'm guessing at this point. Like we really don't know if this is the patty or not, but let's just hope to Jesus. Please, baby Jesus, make this be the patty. All right, guys, I'm gonna mix in one cup of water. Or I'm just gonna keep mixing it around until it becomes a patty, hopefully. Oh my gosh, it smells like ground beef. It smells like beef, this is crazy. What is going on? So I added a little bit more water to the concoction. I don't know how to explain this to you guys other than saying that this smells like beef ramen. How about that? What the heck? This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Like beef, I guess. Okay, we're going to pick up my meat, place it into the burger one in the center here. Kind of just stuff it down here. Stuffing it really nicely in there so it really forms that, you know, the beef patties we know and love. I'm gonna go to the microwave. About 30 seconds here, so. All right, microwave is done. Full 40 seconds in there. We got some, uh, we got something going on in there. Guys, I thought this was supposed to be candy, but it legit smells like a burger. Pop out. Okay, so my burger bun just kind of popped out. This is my patty. Kind of just popped out. It looks like meat. 
It's like warm like meat. It feels like meat. This is insane. I'm gonna try to get these buns out now. It feels like bread. Guys, this is so weird. It feels like bread. Holy crap. Holy crap. This one also feels like bread. Is this supposed to be like two burgers? I'm supposed to cut this in half? I think, but I'm just gonna leave it as one ginormous one, but I'm gonna work on the cheese now. I think this is the cheese packet. I put all of it in here like so. Thing of water. And this smells kind of like cheese too. I don't know how they do it. It smells like straight up cheese. I thought this was candy. I'm so confused. Japan is confusing Marmar Chamar. This is the cheese measuring board basically. So like in the center, you just wanna smush it. Kind of feels like cheese too. This is a Japanese technique called thumbing. It's our cheese. Slice it down the middle. Take my spatula. Got my burger right here. Put the cheese on the burger. Bam. Put that burger thing on top. I'm guessing this is like french fries. Pour it in here. I now know that when you make these, you can literally smell whatever you're making. These are, this definitely smells like potato. Um, I think this is the point where I microwave the potatoes. In the microwave. All right, it's good. Really bad at cutting. I don't think I, I didn't pass that that class. All right, cool. So I got this. I'm gonna tape it on it like that. Check out how our French fries are. Wow, they look, they feel, they smell very potatoey. It's one French fry. Ah, fries, but. This is insane. I just made french fries in my microwave in like 30 seconds. Okay guys, these are french fries, okay? This is, has to be ketchup, right? So I'm put this in there. Guys, this is freaking me out. It's powder. It smells like ketchup. Cup right there, bam. It all around. I go ahead and lift up where the cheese is. Put a little dabble of ketchup right there. Bam. Right there onto my mini burger with a giant meat patty because it's supposed to be two burgers my fries right there well here's my cola there's my burger i'm just gonna add some water to my cola oh uh oh my cola is fizzing wow it's so cool it's fizzing like real soda oh my gosh oh my gosh Guys, the moment you guys have all been waiting for this whole entire video, I know you guys have wanted me to try this. I'm sure some of you guys have tried this before. This is my first time making it, and I think I did okay. I'm so sorry if you're a new viewer and you, I can cook, I promise, I can make things. It's really hard because I didn't know what was what. It's all in Japanese. I gotta taste test this stuff, okay? Let's try the Frenchie fries. So I got my French fries here, and mini French fries. Got a little ketchup right here. Dip it in the ketchup, you see that? Mini ketchup, okay. Can I taste that? That's not bad at all. <laughs> it's blowing my mind right now because this is all made out of powder and I legit could eat this. And it tastes like potatoes. Or it tastes like potatoes and ketchup. What the heck, Japan? How? It tastes like actual french fries. Like now for the more scarier one, we got some cheese, ketchup, burger, bread. Let's, let's taste test this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but let's try it out. All right, here we go. Hmm, it's a little hard, but it tastes like a burger. What the heck, Japan? How do you do this? This is powder. I'm gonna eat some more French. What the heck? I thought it was gonna be gross. I thought I was gonna be spitting it up right here, like, uh, uh, but it tastes good. It tastes like a burger. The bread's a little hard because I, I messed up on that part, I will admit. Tastes legit. I'm an American. I know what burgers taste like. That tastes like a burger. What the heck? Oh, this is edible. This is edible stuff, right? It's not meant. I hope it's edible. I got it at the grocery store. Maybe Japan can't get the Coke right. Let's, let's find out. Cheers. It, it tastes like Coke. Like a really cheap Coke, but it tastes like Coke. Like it has the Coke flavor. It has bubbles. I don't know how they do it. You tell me. I don't understand what's going on. I'm about to eat this whole Happy Meal. It's over. I don't know if I'm just hungry. 
or what, but this tastes good. I'm so confused right now. I just ate this whole Happy Meal. There's nothing, there's no food left. My mind is blown right now. Oh my gosh. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video today. Remember, I post a new video every single day at 12 p.m. That challenge still applies. If you guys get this video to 50,000 likes, I'll make a giant burger with something on the inside of my choice. 50,000, that's easy. You guys got this. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single day at 12 p.m. I'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Peace, Marmars. What, what the heck, man? What'd you give me, man? <laughs> what is up, my beautiful Marmars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna make something I can eat, but I'm definitely not gonna eat it, but I'm really excited about this DIY because I'm gonna be doing a DIY wasabi prank gums. A prank gum, so don't tell anyone. This is a secret. This is gonna be not your conventional gum that you wanna chew all the time. This is the gum that is made for people that, like when you pull out a pack of gum and they're like, hey, can I get one? And then it causes the whole room to get one. This is the gum you make for those people. Also, 